We're broadcasting from New Fear Stadium in Sniffalo, home of the thrills, and the world-famous waterfall, Viagra Falls. I've never seen a waterfall that goes straight up before. It's weird. Today's matchup is going to be complete mayhem. The teams are taking the field. The insane Colts go up against the Sniffalo Thrills. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. If the sound of a torn Achilles followed by laughter and taunting brings a smile to your face, you are tuned to the right place. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow and the MFL crew is coming to you live on game day. Bricks, any uh, thoughts on today's game? Um, I thought I had one, but uh, I think I might have forgotten it. Oh, I remember. Uh, I forgot who's playing today. Careful what you ask for, Grim. Throw, good catch, but not quite good enough at nine yards. And that'll bring up second and one. I think the defenders are scared of this guy, Bricks. Oh, mama. Just call him Cap and Crunch. Another one bites the dust. And they're catching up. Joke, job, do something. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. And it's first and ten. And it looks like the coach is ripping that play from the playbook. What a dud. Second down and ten. Oh, big catch! Big run! Big touchdown! Yeah, big deal. Missed a beat for Brace Man with a ball and didn't fall down. <laughs> and here comes the extra point attempt. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And it's first and ten. It's called a tap attack. The ball carrier better move his ass out of bounds before he... Ah, he took a leap and hit the ball knocked out. Fumble! He's got a case of fumble He broke free and has open field in front of him. It's a touchdown! Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. They need a good return here to set up the offense. 
He's gonna be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players have catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably grabbed his pants. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. A great throw and a great catch, but sadly to the wrong team. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel, thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the line. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. And it's first and ten. Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to fight it. <laughs> and it's first and ten. That's a nice gain of about seven yards on that run. Second and three. See that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I hope they have raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one. Hot. Drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. And it's first and ten. Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. <laughs> First and ten. Oh, I love this dirty trick. G5 Bofa. The lineman swants the ball away with those meaty paws. God, it looks so snugly. Yeah, I guess if you're a monster. Second down and ten. punting unit you know punters really do know how to party bricks yeah oh yeah i have pictures that uh well maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on here the return man catches the ball and heads up field 
And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabag after that hit. And that'll be second and eight to go. And the defense gets another pick. Man, rough day. wake of destruction in his path. Oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? Serve those runners now and consider passing more. That's the end of quarter one. Well, the good news is there's still time to make it a game. And there's still time to get a beer. And it's first and ten. Good catching in the NFL. Oh, with the punishing hit. Second down in a lot. A good run for five yards. Hey, didn't move the chain. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. That was probably all the diarrhea. Well, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed anyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but they got out the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? And it's first and ten. And he picks up eight yards on a strong run. Second down and two. Get your motor running. It's chainsaw time. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. Hey, yeah, uh, Bricks, check the rule book. Is that a penalty? Why would I have the rule book? Oh, for fuck's sake. First and ten. The defense had enough with this ref and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> and there goes the ref. You know, Bricks, it's a tough job for a ref to control an angry, fired-up gang of mutants. Kind of like asking a zebra to serve tofu kebabs to a pack of starving lions in the Serengeti. You know, Grim, I killed a ref in Rio once. Eh, just to watch him die. First down and three. Stud bricks. Yeah, telling me. Nice run. No, I mean he's a real stud. He works at the mutant stud farm weekends and summers. The defense called a sticky ball dirty trick, and the quarterback is in a shitload of trouble. <laughs> he's trying to throw the ball, but it keeps coming back to him. Uh, okay, Jim. Jim, on. Yep, yep, yep. 
Get down now. Get down. Second down and five. says, I don't think so. The kicker should make this, but you know how it goes in this league. And it's good! You know, Grim, in this league where murder and bribery are cheered, it's good to be good, huh? I mean, can't we all just... Not this shit again. Bricks, I'm stopping it right there. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it for... You know what? Never mind. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot... Message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's gonna. Oh, a vicious hit, and the ref will have to administer last rites. Funeral services to be held Monday at the Church of Holy Crap. <laughs> the offense is down to their last running back. When he bites the dust, they can only pass. That's right, but now the defense can focus on killing the receivers. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one. Hot. Just follow the bloody footprints to the new line. That's a first. I know how they said never hit a man when he's down. It's just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot three. And he was stuck to him like glue. Second down and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot three. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. Whoa, mama. Just call him Captain Crunch. Another one bites the dust. And that'll bring up third and one. And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. And the punter has one job to do, and that's punt the ball. No return on this punt. The defense will just down it. I can't tell if he's smart or scared. Either way, the ball is down. And it's first and ten. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Oh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. The offense is down to their last running back. No rest for the weary. The last runner has to suck it up and hopefully not die. Second 
Second down and five. like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my offseason. Third down and eight. <laughs> Boom, dead and down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Uh oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. First and ten. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Briggs? Wonder what made him so mad. That was probably all the diarrhea. Well, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed anyone who came to Mexico forever to crack their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really feel the because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but yeah, not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? Under two minutes, a timeout means the QB is playing beat the clock, and he better win. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. And he stayed with the receiver and deflected the ball. <laughs> and the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. They've got one more timeout left, but they've stopped the clock. Why don't they just take the batteries out of the clock, Grim? That would make more sense. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. Shifts gears and goes into his hurry up offense. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Look, and the ref just called a bullshit penalty. Second down and long. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. In a hurry up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. And how about a little dirt sandwich? Third down and... And they take their last time out. It's between them and the clock now, Grim. Well, and the defense, too. Now this one's going to be tough. I hope he has a good enough leg for this one. I saw him trying one on before the game. He looked okay, I think. Not my... He is automatic. Nice kick. Boring. Just getting the points and let's move on. At the end of quarter two, it's a blowout. We now go to our halftime show sponsored by Monsatan Industries. Makers of great killer products like Roundup. Use it on pesky weeds or neighbors, and they'll be gone by morning. <laughs> We're back for the second half in a blowout. The teams line up for the kickoff. Well, the game is as close as the score indicates. <laughs> 
When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. Just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. And that'll bring up second and one. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. I hope you covered your ears, Briggs. Now he catches him. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. And it's first and ten. Hey. At this point, with multiple interceptions, the QB should just throw in the towel. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Great play by the defense. The receiver didn't stand a chance. Second down and ten. The quarterback passes the ball and it rebounds back. He can't get rid of it. It's like me and these crabs, Quinn. Yep, the defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick and the QB is in a heap of trouble now. <laughs> Third down, and the offense needs a miracle. And that's the kind of play you pay the secondary for. You pay it for the pick six. For this, you just give them a pat on the head and tell them they don't suck. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. And he's got a chance for a good return here. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. And it's first and ten. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck off. That was just a one-time thing. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, he should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. Second and three. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot three. Great play! He is on that receiver like glue. You know, when I was little, my dad used to make me eat glue. My tongue would get stuck to the roof of my mouth, and I couldn't talk. Your father was a very smart man, Bricks. Very smart. And the ball is lateral to his teammate. We're talking street ball here, Bricks. And this guy runs angry and runs hard. First oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. 
When it's your time to go, it's your time. The offense has no running backs left, so this becomes a passing only offense. Uh, they can still run it with their QB, right, Grim? Sure, they can run their QB into the defense that's feasting on runners. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, moron. Hey, watch it! And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. Oh, and he broke. Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm going to go grab one. You want anything? No, still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. First down and five. Hot. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. And that's another turnover for the defense. Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo, Grim. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to bite it. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a frog in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. Ah, uh, come on, man. You got to catch that. I don't catch anything, Grim. I'm retired. Second down and ten. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Uh, I don't think you can see that, Grim. The coach isn't liking that call. Oh, oh his head just exploded. <laughs> Second down, and he... And they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. And Briggs, they just made up a whole lot of field in a hurry with that pass play. And I just made up a new name for a sandwich. Third down and nine. And that's perfect coverage. Nice deflection. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. And he put all of his foot into that one. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. And he's 
running like a move. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot two. And this guy looks like Thor on a revenge bender right now. Fumble. you got to protect the ball better than that. He broke free and has open field in front of him. The 20. He's running out of gas now. Touchdown! And they line up for the extra point. Straight through the uprights. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. He just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? <laughs> will replace him with another player. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. One, hot two, hot eight. Ah, another interception. Geez, you give this guy a... Oh, that's a vicious hit, and the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutiny. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. And it's first and ten. And the ball hits the field incomplete. He threw it when no one could catch it. Some things like that in the quarterback. Second down and ten. And he zings it in there for a nine-yard completion. They're moving the ball now with authority. The third quarter mercifully ends. If this game is as painful to watch as we are to listen to, then please accept our apologies. This one is just about over. I got the thing stuck in my ear again! And he zips that one in there for a touchdown! Man, look at those moves, Bricks. His teammates better compliment his dancing skills. Otherwise, they're going to be a pile of dead bison in the locker room again. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of scrimmage and plays really fast. Why would they do that? How many times do we have to explain it to you? It saves the clock, my man. And that is caught for a first down. Oh, my God, a man from prison just came out of the field. That's the ref, you idiot. Let's see what the penalty is. The offense wants to 
speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, same as Brits' ex girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah, she called it. Quarterback passes for a touchdown. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It's good. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. And the quarterback throws another pick. Pow! With the brain scrambler. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. It's the same thing as a hurry-up offense, you moron. I am so confused! Man, he's running like a bull. Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon Raby blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. The offense is running low on quarterbacks. They have only two left. He might consider running the ball more. The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Grim? Aren't we all? At this point, with, and he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. First and ten. And he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jets, you son of a bitch. And it's first and ten. Oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Margaret of Our Ladies of Holy Hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. And another interception. This quarter. Oh, with a brutal hit. Signals for a hurry up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry up offense? There's no huddle. The, off the defender says, I don't think so. And the offense goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game. He had nowhere to go and got nothing out of it. And the offense goes into the hurry up formation to try to conserve time. Man, what a hit that was! Third down and three. keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Well. And a 
Saints, first and ten. And he's off to the races. And he just caught for the first down. Oh, come on, that was a cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so are the fans. And it's first and ten. Second down and ten. There aren't too many players that kids can look up to it. Oh, and he might have just saved a touchdown on that deflection. Third down and ten. I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim. But my watch is a bit slow. And it's first and ten. Ah, another interception. Please, you give this guy a bigger paycheck. Ooh, that hit's gonna shave a few days off his life. Is that right, Grim? That penalty makes no sense. And it's something ain't kosher here, and I'm not talking about the corned beef with extra mayo. <laughs> First down in inches. It's a jailbreak, and the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Oh, crowd's loving it. Oh, and the ref just bought himself one more play of life with some moves that would put some of our Hall of Famers to shame. Oh, good. That gives me time to get odds on him. Someone give me a phone. First down and six. Defense has enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. First down and three. Should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one time thing. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. And it makes another pick. Man, oh, man, the defense is going to hit. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. Yo, seriously, man, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? I will wreck your world. You understand me, Junior? I'll wreck your world. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? Straight through the uprights.
When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally has to be Chris Matt's stupsing time. That's why the girls call me Speedy Gonzalez. Oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. Second down and nine. First time out under two minutes. The chess game has begun. It's like chess only. You can kill people. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry-up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry-up, too? Grim, can I kill him? And that's a first down. Looks like they're just going to pound it up the... A man from prison just came out of the field? It's the ref, idiot. Oh. Let's see what the penalty is. <laughs> The offense has only one quarterback left. If he dies, it's game over. Uh, this new QB, he don't even look too confident. He's pleading with the coach on the sidelines about something. Yeah, he's telling his coach to punt. What a pussy. The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Grim? Aren't we all? And into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he was on to the races. <laughs> and here comes the extra point attempt. It's good. The kicker's going to have to kick the ball just right so his team can recover it. And like Bricks' bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. In a hurry-up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. Another pick. Man, this quarterback must have learned a lot about sharing when he was in school. Yeah, that's why he's so popular with the other kids. The ones not on his team. Oh, man, Bricks, you gotta love a player who goes down fighting. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. The Thrills lose one at home today and go down in defeat. Well, they are who we thought they were. Ah, uh, wrong team, idiot. They've got 99 problems, but a win ain't one of them. That's right, Grim. Just like a bridge over troubled water. Like a whole lot of Rosie. The game's most valuable player is speaking about the victory now. <laughs> Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you...